I'm Adrian Peterson of the Minnesota Vikings, and you're watching the best sports coverage on News OK. Despite dropping a 5-4 with a 10-3 loss to Nebraska last week, over 85,000 fans showed up to see the Sooners on Saturday, and the Sooner offense didn't disappoint. The Sooners dropped 65 points and beat Texas A&M 65-10. A&M came out in their retro throwback all-white jerseys. Last time they wore these was earlier this year against Arkansas. They got whooped then. Could it happen again tonight? On the fifth play of A&M's first drive, Christine Michael fumble, and Brian Jackson picks it up and returns at 52 yards for the touchdown. OU up 7-0. And I seen that it was a run, and I seen Frank like kind of dive into the pile, and the ball just popped out, and it was like nobody within like seven, eight yards of it. So I said, I mean, if nobody else is going to get it, I'm going to show them to pick it up. And once I picked it up, I seen Johnson to my left, I mean to my right, and then nobody really to my left, so I kind of just maneuvered around him and went on to the house. Later in the first, OU at the Aggie 25, Ryan Broyles with the reverse, gets a block, and scores his first rushing touchdown of the year, 14-0 OU. Uh, I think that was actually one of the first reverses like that we've ran this year. So uh, we've been practicing all week, so we have gotten reps at. I feel comfortable. So we just get out there and just perform in the game. Second quarter. After an A&M fumbled punt, the Sooners go four plays, 22 yards, capped off by a Landry Jones pass to Broyles in the corner of the end zone. 21-10, OU. Sooners' next position at their own 15. Big play on this drive was a third and six. Jones hit Broyles for 31 yards. Ryan had eight receptions for 79 yards on the night. Three plays later, Chris Brown from six yards out. Oklahoma's rolling 28-10. OU would add two more touchdowns in the first half. This screen pass from Jones to DeMarco Murray, 36 yards for the touchdown. Murray had five catches for 143 yards and two touchdowns. And just before halftime, Jones hits Adrian Tunnell for the 11-yard score to put OU up 42-10 at the half, showing shades of last year's offense. The Sooners didn't let up in the third quarter. After another Murray touchdown, Oklahoma took a six-play, 85-yard drive, capped off by Chris Brown with a 12-yard score to make it 55-10. Brown finished with seven carries for 48 yards and two touchdowns. In the fourth, Jones hit Tunnell again for Oklahoma's last score from 10 yards out. Landry completes 24 of his 39 passes for 392 yards and five touchdowns. OU rolls A&M 65-10, proves a 6-4 overall and 4-2 and in the Big 12. With the win, Oklahoma's now bowl eligible. I'm just proud of the effort of the players and the way they worked through the week and Really came out and played an excellent football game. Uh, where to begin? Um, I thought probably defensively, uh, especially with you know Texas A&M came in here with leading the league in total offense or first or second in scoring offense and really being highly productive. And, and all the success Jared Johnson's had, you know, through the through the year. And we're not talking they come in leading after three, four, five games. You know, we're we're towards the tail end of the season and and uh, with. You know, after nine games, that they have really been productive. To play as well as we did was really pleasing. Uh, to to play the run, to, to pressure the quarterback and cover like we did, um, was really pretty special. And win number six. That's the number one goal is just to find a way to get a win. Whether you played, uh, you know, you played bad and you get a win. You know, I would I'd, I would much rather have that than uh, play well and not win. So winning is the most important thing. And. And then if you can play well on top of that, that's obviously, uh, you know, it's good for our guys. Obviously, our, our defense just played great and kept us in the game, put us in good situations, so I really have to hand it to those guys. But I think we, uh, we played a lot smarter tonight, um, especially down in, like, the red zone area. We didn't have as many penalties, so we were able to punch, punch some scores in tonight. DeMarco just really made a, made a good play on it. Uh, after I threw the ball, I was on my back. I didn't really get to see what, was, what, what happened, but... Um, I'm, I'm guessing he made someone miss like he always does and, and took it downtown. And I mean, the guys in the offensive line are out in front of him that I saw. Oh, man, the yeah. offense, we needed that. So no matter who gets in there, we need an offense to score. And we got a lot today, so that was a good thing. Have you seen DeMarco throw any passes? Yeah, he can. I don't want to I don't tip my hat, but, yeah, he can, he can. He can throw, yeah. He can you throw? I, I can throw. I can throw. So <laughs> we'll see what next week has to come. We didn't have to use all the plays we worked on, but. Hopefully some things will come up and we can show our, our athleticism.